Which came first, the chicken or the egg? A tough question, but that's basically how it, what it comes to when it comes to getting firmware for Wi-Fi on OpenBSD. You see, they can't actually distribute the firmware with OpenBSD when you download it, but you can't get the firmware if you don't have an internet connection. And if you only have Wi-Fi, then this is a problem. You see, you need an internet connection to get the firmware, but if you don't have the firmware, then you can't get a Wi-Fi connection. Now you can do Ethernet, obviously, and I'm going to go over that. If There's two options. If you have an internet connection already on your OpenBSD device and want Wi-Fi to work, or if you don't have an internet connection on your OpenBSD device, which you do on various other things, and some sort of storage medium. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out what network card you have. So I'm going to zoom in here real quick, and I'm going to run ifconfig, and you can see right here it is IWN0. You want the one that says WLAN. See, this is Ethernet EM0. We do not want that because that's just for an Ethernet cable. You want the one that says WLAN. So remember IWN0 for later because that is actually very important. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to go and... I guess get a flash drive or if you already have internet connectivity on this device then you want to get the drivers directly from the OpenBSD website. So the first thing that we need to do is if you do not have a internet connection on the device then you need to go to firmware.openbsd.org slash firmware on some other computer or even an Android phone as long as you have connection to the internet and can transfer a file to a flash drive and so I'll type that out here firmware.openbsd.org and you need to oh and then you need to go to slash firmware and then you need to click the version that you are running. So in my case, I am running 7.2. And then from there, you need to click whatever device you found. So mine was IWN0, remember? So I need to download the IWN-firmware-5.11p1.tgz. So this, uh, this is the file that you will need. Now obviously you do this in a browser on another computer. Then all you have to do is put that file on a flash drive and bring it over to the computer and then mount the flash drive. So you would just run something like mount slash dev slash sd1i and then slash mount slash, well you can just do slash mount if you don't have anything. Now I don't have any devices plugged in, but we, that is basically the command you would do, and then you'd go into mount, and then you would run the command. Okay, so uh, post-recording, I realized, um, I think they actually changed it, changed the way that you install the firmware on newer versions. So what you want to do is you actually want to go into the directory that has the tarball, and I guess for best practice, make sure that it's the only file in that directory, and then run the command that is on the screen right now, and then that should install it as far as I know, and then you just have to reboot afterward. Now, I have already done that on this device, and by the way, if you, the way that you do it without a flash drive is you go on, you connect to Ethernet, which it should automatically pick up, and you do the process that I just described, except you don't need to mount any flash drives, you can just download it. And so I've already done this on my device, so I don't need to do that. And the next thing that you need to do to connect to Wi-Fi is to actually tell your Wi-Fi card what you want to connect to, which is like the uh, router name and whatnot. So we need to go to slash Etsy, and you want to become root. You can either you can do do as or root. It doesn't really matter for this. And you want to open up a file called hostname dot. And then remember over here when we ran ifconfig your device right here, you want this to be what you put right in here. So hostname.iwn0 for me, so let me close that. And I'll go in here, and you want to type first nwid, and then type in the name. So I've set up a hotspot on my phone real quick, and it is called pixel underscore 
four five four three. And then the next thing that you want to type in is WPA key space, and then again in quotation marks, and I literally just set it to password for the sake of this video. And after that, that's all you need to do. Besides, if you need DHCP, which is for IP address assignment, in most in most cases you'll probably need this. It's safe to just put it. You put that and then you save the file. Now what you want to do is you run run well you want to get out of here and you want to run do as sh slash etsy slash net start. I probably could have done it right in this folder um, but it doesn't really matter. And it says fixing permissions so I'm just going to run it again just in case. And then it seems like we're good to go. It always says no nwid or join command guessing which one to use. I, I don't know why it says that, I've never figured it out, but it seems to work just fine because if I go here and ping openbsd.org, well, for some reason that did not work. Okay, sorry, I had to uh, change the network name, I'd typed it in wrong, but from there all you do is type ping openbsd.org, you can see that you are getting a connection. And so this just to make sure that like DNS and whatnot is working. What we're going to do is we're going to go, I guess, to my website, or really any website you want to go to. Uh, wait for Firefox to open, it takes a little while. And we can see that, I don't know why it opened any tab, after, give it a second, it'll load. After a little bit, it'll load. Um, my Wi-Fi is kind of slow, which is why it took a while, but it should be pretty fast. Anyways, that is all for OpenBSD networking. Um, hope you enjoy.